Davis, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada, for tonight's main event. Remember, stick and move. Stick Round and one move. of 12. On, stick and move. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Able to cover up along the belt line, blocks that one. Halfway through round number one. He missed with that headshot. knowledge of the game is showing through three ways to defend one of them is the block he did it there well money's giving his opponent headaches here now he's throwing punches but he's able to block them away he's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Mayweather's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Money's ability to get to his opponent worked out well there. He damaged him in that round. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. And that had some bite to it, that right hand by Money. Yeah, I like what I see. I love what I see, baby. Gets rid of that body shot. Halfway through round number two. Money's rocked by a huge hook to the head. And yet another big shot comes in. A huge shot rains down, and he's on the floor. And he has a decision to make, a choice to make right now one two three four five mayweather's rising back up that takes some guts <laughs> he needs to improve the accuracy a little bit that was comical by money Money's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You gotta block those punches away. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. 
do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that Fucking big, good, big baby. stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. Nice work. Nice That's work. the question. Unable to land clean by money. Mayweather's out there for another round after being knocked down in the last round. We know what happens in the 60 seconds with a fighter who was damaged, but what about those 60 seconds in the opposing corner, Teddy? You know, Joe, that's a great question. And I remember my mentor, Customato, when we were training fighters, one, he used two, to always say, one, two, look, popping, you know you're a banger, popping. and this guy happens to be a banger. Well, if you hit a guy clean, you know you hurt him. But he's not going to show you. He's going to act like a pro. He's going to con you. He's going to act like that didn't hurt him. But you have to remember, hey, it hurt him. So go after him like he showed it, even if he's not showing it. That's what I want to see, baby. That's what I want to see. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by money. You know, when we sat with these guys yesterday in preparation for this broadcast, we asked them, all right, what's your favorite punch? They both had the same response. We like them all. Oh, that's a smart fighter because you want to be as versatile, as rounded as possible. Double up on those punches. Double up. Come on, double up on the punches. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Oh, what a whiff by Money. And that's the end of round three. Round number four is underway as we look at Teddy's scorecard. And you can see what a difference the knockdown can make. Mayweather's fans have to be loving this early lead. Yeah, but with that power, you know, he can make a mistake and he can win the fight. His opponent can't afford any mistakes and not any more mistakes. Keep going. And he returns on that exchange. Mayweather's doing a really good job of being defensively sound, of being patient, and waiting for that golden opportunity for some offense to come in the mix. Well, that's exactly what he's doing. He's waiting for a mistake to be made. You know, he wants a lead out of his opponent right now so he can make a miss and bang, come right back with that hook. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Shot to the head with that right hand. Side to side. Come on now. Spoker. Defense easily turns into offense. Blocks a blow, sends an uppercut. Dead, dead, dead. Shake it off, shake it off. It's all right, it's all right. Fourth round now with its last 10 seconds. And round four comes to an end. Money's commitment to just pure offense is lacking right now. I mean, the guy has to let the hands go. Well, he was hurt earlier. You know, there was a little short punch on the inside around before, and nobody really noticed it. But guess what? He did. And I think that's why you see him be a little bit unsure of himself and not throwing the punches that otherwise you'd say, hey, come on, how come you're not? That is why. Yeah, you got this. Unable to make an impact there by Money. Money's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counterpunching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, 
but on the back end. Jump on him right now. Nice, nice. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Halfway through this round, and now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. Well off the mark by Money. Mayweather scoring with that right hand. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. Solid uppercut. You. The start of the sixth round. Mayweather's now got to figure out a way to do exactly what he did in the last round here at the start of this round. Yeah, and his opponent, hey, his opponent has to say here, you seem to forget that sometimes, Joe. His opponent has to make sure that he doesn't. Do the same thing he did the last round. And he's holding. Yeah. Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. And he just holds on there. Money's making this so that it's becoming a very frustrating night for his opponent. I mean, when your defense is that sharp, it can just drive your opponent crazy. Yeah, it can. First of all, it can start to break down. You know, we always look at the physical things in life and anything. You know, you're pounding a guy and you're going to break the guy down. Hey, if you're just smart, you're slick like this guy and you're making a guy miss, you start to break him down. He's breaking the guy down that way. Good step back, counter punch there. Beautiful. Needs to improve that accuracy. Miss with the headshot. Hey, get out of there. We gotta see that coming, champ. Let's go. You gotta see that. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. So we've come to the halfway point of what has been a very highly competitive bout. And Teddy, if it stays that way throughout this night, then this is going to be an all-time classic. Hit by a power punch. Money's showing us that he's aggressive, but this is not a good kind of aggression. It's to be countered. Yeah, it's a reckless aggression. You know, he's just walking in there, you know, with these big wide punches. Something's going to come in between. At the halfway point of round seven. No! Keep working the body. Keep working the body. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Nice work. Nice work. Money's jab lands well. Comes right back 
got him with a left hand. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. That's it. That's it. I need a... Mayweather's strategy is being put forth in a good way here. As we start round number eight, he's ahead on your scorecard, Teddy, by just a bit. Now, if he's to continue on and win this fight, what does he have to do? Well, he can't fall into the trap, Joe, of being satisfied with what he's done. He has to keep moving forward, keep plowing that field. Money's oh, Teddy, this has got to drive his trainer crazy because he's leaving himself wide open with these sweeping shots. Well, you talk about that old saying, leaving the barn door open and the horses are going to go out. Well, guess what? The punches, sooner or later, they're going to come in. All right, keep moving, keep moving. The halfway point of round number eight. That's what I want to see, baby. That's what I want to see. Comes right back with some offense of his own. He took a go of it to the body, but came up empty. That's it. That's it. Just like that. Well off the mark by money. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. He scored well after being hit himself. Teddy, making predictions in boxing is often a dangerous task, but I'll make one right here that seems pretty obvious to me as we come to the end of that round here. This fight is going to be a brutal display as long as it lasts. It's kind of like going and watching that home run contest. Nobody's trying to hit singles or doubles. You know they're all going for the fences. Good defense, just covering up down low. Double up on those punches. Double up. Come on, double up on the punches. Not able to land the headshot. Money's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. 90 seconds into the ninth round. Take yourself. Beat him to the punch. Come on, champ. Beat him to the punch, man. Blocks that belt line well. Solid left hand to the head. Relax, relax. Just Seconds to go in this round. Mayweather's has to prove that he's a deep stretch runner here right now. I think he's slightly trailing as this fight comes to the later stages. But you can see his corner imploring him to go out and win it. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. Money's keeping... His guard up very, very well. Teddy, does it help to have the speed that he has? Uh, sure. Anytime you have speed, 
and you can put it into the equation where whatever you're doing, it has to be technically right, but now you put speed, you're doing it even better. You're doing it at a higher level. Mayweather's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Way through round 10. Head and body. Come on, champ. Head and body. That's right. Oh, and the right hand comes into play by Money. This Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Good way to protect the midsection. Keep doing what you do. Guard up. Keep that guard up. And the countdown, the final moments of this round. Mayweather's defense is paying off now. That's okay. That's all right. Now pay him back. There are those moments in a fight where you can see the great divide starting to happen between two fighters. I think it happened a few rounds ago. Here we are in round number 11. Money's up on your scorecard, but it's been the fact that it's the past few rounds that he's just gaining more and more momentum. Yeah, I think you put it well, Joe. He's in control. He's the foreman of this work site. The right other now. guy nice. is his employee. Trading right hands. Boy, is this a dangerous biz. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. To the head he goes with a left hand. Money's got to find an answer for this because his accuracy has been well off the mark. I like the fact he's willing to throw, but he needs to land more. Yeah, he needs to calm down nice. and think Real more. nice. 90 seconds to go in this 11th round. Keep moving, keep moving. That's it, that's it. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Keep working the chance. Good, good. able to land a good, solid left hand. Last 10 seconds. All right, Teddy, let me put you back in your old job here. You're going to be trainer here. Now, we're just coming off of a round there. We're clearly, I think he won the round, but it's a close competitive fight that your guys probably win. Yeah, I know what not to tell him. I'm not telling him he's winning. That's what I'm not telling him. I want to make sure that he keeps his edge. You know, he stays smart and everything, but the only reason that I think he's up is because he's keeping the punch output. He's staying sharp defensively. You know, he's still attacking in the spots that he should attack. I want to keep it that way. Come on, come on. Solid straight right hand. Mayweather's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Money's really doing a fine job here, looking Teddy. Good, and I know everybody Teddy, falls in love good. with the clean, effective punching. But you can make an argument that he's controlling this fight right now thanks to his head moves. Yeah, you know, it makes me think about that legendary story about the old great Willie Pep, the will of the wisp. 
There was a legend that he actually won a round without throwing a punch just by making his opponent miss, just by ring generalship. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Time to bring it home. Final minute of the final round. Oh, and he got caught right there. Everything was going fine, and then he got caught. Well, that's the problem. It was going too fine. He got a full sense of security. The other guy wasn't thrown back. He took for granted, and bang, you can't take for granted in this ring. Nice work, nice work. Last 10 seconds of the fight. Double jab by Money. competitive throughout who got it to find out we send it up to the ring this was a sure and steady effort by money tonight and it earns him a unanimous decision win. Teddy, your scorecard reflects that as well. Yeah, I don't think it was ever a question of who was going to win. It was how. Was it going to be knockout or unanimous decision? We got it the right way. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us, everyone.